<laughs> hey guys, it's Kim Kalina Layla, and I'm back with another um, book review. I finally finished a new book within like two weeks. And this one is actually a continuation of the two other books in this series that I have read. Which is, the first one was called Swim the Fly, and the second one was called Beat the Band. And now this one is called Call the Shots. And it's by author Don Kalam. Um, and I'm going to just do the regular, read the back of it. Which is basically um, reviews of the last two books. So I guess I'll just read the synopsis. And then tell you about the book. So the front says, three boys, one goal, make the best big low budget horror film. And then here's the synopsis. When it comes to girls, Sean Hans feels like a lowly Padawan compared to his best buds, Matt and Coop, who, bit, who both somehow managed to snag awesome girlfriends. Not helping matters is the fact that his twin sister, Kathy, is on a mission to convince everyone, including Sean, that he's gay. Add in the bombshell his parents just dropped that they're expecting a baby and that Sean and Kathy will be forced to share a room. And you've got the make makings of an epically awful sophomore year. But Coop has a plan that's sure to fix everything. The boys will make their very own ultra-low budget horror flick and enter it in Terror Fest. Once they win the prize money, Sean can build in an extension on his parents' house and he'll have his choice of leading ladies. But first they have to write, cast, film, and edit the thing. With no equipment, no experience, and almost no budget. When everything starts to spin out of control, will Sean have what it takes to step up and start calling the shots? The boys from Swim the Fly and Beat the Band reunite for one final blockbuster adventure. So basically, the first book was Swim the Fly, which is, um, I forgot what that one was about. Um, oh yeah, it was about, um, the boys, the main three characters, uh, Sean, Coop, and Matt. They wanted to see a naked woman, <laughs> or a naked girl, so they, um, their adventure in that one was, uh, their goal was to see a naked lady, and of course it doesn't work out the way exactly that they planned. And, you know, everything just turns out, like, for uh, what seems like the worst to making it better. And, um, or from what they didn't expect, but they still got something as an outcome, so. And then Beat the Band, of course, is, is what it sounds like. Is it a competition to, um, you know, see who has a better band or whatever like that. So that one also did not go as planned, but... They got an outcome that they weren't looking for or what were not planning to have or what they expected. So they didn't come out disappointed, but they got something as a result anyways. So this one's basically the same way. So it's about Coop or no, um, it's about Sean, the main character. And um, of course, his two best friends, Coop and Matt. And um, also tagging along is their girlfriends, Helen and Valerie. And um, so in this book, I've noticed, um, you know, they, they are older um, and they have a lot more to be not worried about, but it's like, it's legit just really based around Sean and how he's growing up. And um, so he's, um, he's trying to find a girlfriend, you know, or trying to find somebody and you know, he's becoming a young man, you know, so he's going through all this pubic, freaking uh, puberty things that, you know, your typical, you know, teenagers go through. And um, so he runs into this girl, Evelyn, to begin with, and she comes on him very strong. And he's kind of like a doormat, I'll say, because honestly, he didn't say no to her. So he, they ended up going out without him even having any feelings towards her or anything like that, just out of the blue, just accepted it as it was. And he just gave it a chance because he thought, hey, this could be um, something good if I give it a chance. But he ends up finding out that Evelyn is like some psychopathic um, kleptomaniac. <laughs> and uh, she goes out of her way to do some crazy shit to, to make him like her. 
a lot, you know, and she even has a very crazy uh, brother as well. So that is like a story of its own in the book. And then, um, so, you know, with the baby coming along and um, having to share the room with his sister and all that, that's also another story of its own in there. Um, where he's struggling with his family and to deal with what's going on with his family. And then it goes to the relationship thing again. Um, he runs into this girl named Lena in his drama class. And apparently she's like every like nerdy, um, geeky uh, gamer's dream girl kind of thing. Apparently because of the way she looks and whatever and how she takes, um, how she holds herself up. So. He ends up growing some sort of um, uh, thing for her. Oh, I don't know exactly what word to say for it. Um, and so they start becoming close and all that. And then he ends up finding out that she only wanted to be close to him because apparently she found out that he was gay, which he's not. Um, and when she finds out he's not, then she um, totally jumps ship. She wants nothing to do with him after that. Um, but she did become like leading lady in his... Um, his movie because she of course is a good actress that's why and they casted her for it and then in the end uh, he finds out that um you know his sister Kathy has a best friend and um, she ends up helping him behind closed doors behind the sister's back and helps him out with the screenwriting of the, the movie and whatever and helps him out along the way with the whole movie and everything about it. And then finds out that later on she was behind um, everything about making him look like he was gay or find out if he was gay and all that stuff because in the end Kathy ends up being a lesbian and she, she was like, oh well if he's my twin brother he must be gay too, you know, so I just want to make sure. So he uses, she uses her best friend to get behind the scenes like that and try and investigate and see if, if he is gay or not. But during that time of investigation, she finds out that um, uh, the, the, the sister's friend, which is named, um, what's her name? <laughs> I forgot already. Um, what is her name? Da, 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 da. I'm gonna look in the book because I totally forgot. Um, what is her sister's best friend's name? Nessa. Nessa is her name. And um, she's like the most unlikely person that he would ever end up with, or so he thinks because of the fact that she's like best friends with his sister, who is like totally against him on so many things. Like they don't get along. It's like sibling rivalry or headbutting, you know, so because she's like totally polar opposite of him. And um... So during that time of investigation that Nessa does on him, she ends up growing feelings for him and in the end he ends up with her and, you know, of course Kathy's going to get on his butt about it because, you know, she's kind of like annoyed with it and whatever. Um, but in the end, also with the baby, um, he's... He, in the end, he doesn't end up annoyed with the baby or disliking the baby. He actually falls in love with the baby because he's like, oh, well, I'm actually a big brother now, whatever, you know, and all this stuff is behind me, all those negative feelings towards my little sister or little brother or baby, you know, whatever it is. It's totally out the window now. I'm totally over it. So um, everything just turns out well in the end. And then, um, you know, he also meets up with his uncle, which um, hasn't been mentioned until now. And, um, you know, he becomes close to his uncle and finds out who his uncle is. And his uncle helps him out with the movie, his friends and him with the movie. And, um, you know, ends up giving him his own RV that he can live in since he wanted that extension on the house. Um, and he didn't want to still share the room with Kathy, his uh, evil twin sister. So, yeah, everything works out in the end, and I just love how this had like three separate stories of Sean, what he goes through. I love how it has like those things all combined into one book, and you can actually see what kind of person he grows into and how he changes his attitude towards things through the experiences he goes through, and it's, it's a really good book. I mean, the same with the last two books before this one, Beat the Band and Swim the Fly, it's basically the same kind of 
thing with like three stories in it but it's all based around like the three boys you know and what they go through and how they grow up and you know stuff like that you kind of grow up with them so um I do have to give this book a five out of five like all the other two uh the other two books I read of from Don Clam which I actually got to meet him back in 2011 or 12 and he's a really cool guy and I love his books so yeah I give it a five out of five and I really recommend you guys to read Swim the Fly Beat the Band and Call the Shots so thank you for listening to my book review and I know this is super long so I'm gonna end it now thank you for listening I hope to see you guys soon for another book review bye